Things you might ought to know for Wednesday, June the 5th, 2024. I am going to present for you some fun things, some some and some irrelevant things, and some learning things. So we want you to learn a few things on this day, about this day, for this day. So for this day, let's start off with birthdays. Birthdays are always the funnest part of the fun stuff. And every year we talk about these three guys because I just love these three guys. For June 5th, happy 68th birthday to Kenny G, the man who masters the alto sax. The uh, it just um, not the alto sax. What is that thing? The tenor sax. All the saxes. All the saxes. All the time. Uh, coming into prominence as the sax man. I guess late 80s, early 90s, going through all that stuff, and still. Belting it out today. Kenny G is 68 years old on the day. Ron Livingston, who I almost got confused with the other Ron guy in the mustache. No, this is the guy, the star of Office Space and A Million Little Things. Uh, 57 years old on the day. And Mark Wahlberg, 53 years old today. Happy birthday to Mark Wahlberg. Every year on this day, we put the earworm, Good Vibrations in Your Ear from 1991. That hit that banger, if you will, and asked the questions. Does he really want to see your sweat coming in your pores? And can he name three members of the Funky Bunch? not named Donnie D because I'm kind of petty, but we'll see. I don't know him. If I do meet him, I'm not brave enough to ask those questions. But Mark Wahlberg, Marky Mark, 53 years old on this day. Moving on to history, literally history, things that happened on this day, June the 5th on 20, or not 2024, because that is today, but back in the day, way, way back in the day, starting off in 1956, oh, have mercy. Elvis Presley introduced his new single, Hound Dog, on the Milton Burl show, scandalizing the audience with his suggestive hit movements, doing the on TV for all the people to faint and um and um you know wither away because of um you know the suggestive nature of his hips swimming back and forth. But the king could get away with it, or soon could get away with it. In nineteen eighty one, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported that five homosexuals in Los Angeles had come down with a rare kind of pneumonia. They were first recognized in cases that became known as AIDS, Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, uh, back in this day in 1981. The discovery of this pneumonia, this disease, happened back on this day. In 2013, the first article based on NSA leaked documents by Edwin Snowden was published by the Guardian newspaper in the UK. Uh, so Edward Snowden, who is now... I, Yes, he's still living in an embassy in Russia or someplace. He may actually have an apartment someplace. Um, th this is the first day that his leaks from the NSA began in 2013. He's still trying to be, um, we're still trying to get him back into the States to face his crimes. Working on Edward Snowden, I'm sorry, working on um, um, uh, Julian Assange, uh, that's being worked out right now. Edward Snowden's still sort of out in the wild. For today, from the Big Words Project, another part of More Better Media, uh, the word for the day is apothesis. Apothesis, and you can find the definition by going to Big Word for the word for this big word by going to um, thebigwordsproject.com. But you can find it here because I'm going to tell it to you. Model of excellence or perfection of a kind, used in a sentence. The artist's latest sculpture was hailed as the apothesis of modern design, admired for its flawless form and innovative use of materials. Like I said, check out the oh, big words of the day at thebigwordsproject.com. And our daily affirmation, because we want to get some positivity in our lives as well. Let's get this one out, because this is one you may actually need today. I am becoming closer to my true self every day. Why is this affirmation good for you? It improves decision making. As you become more attuned to your true self, your decision making process becomes more aligned with what is generally important to you. This clarity makes it easier to make choices that contribute to your happiness and fulfillment. Yes, everything's a sales pitch here, so you can find more affirmations and more like this by going to Amazon.com and searching for Daily Affirmations, J. Cleveland Payne, and get my current book, another one of my current books, 100 Daily Affirmations for Positivity and Confidence. And you can pick, a, pick one for to read for your day or go through it and figure out how to make your own affirmations with that one. And finally, Every day is a, need, a reason to celebrate and need to celebrate. And today, let's celebrate Gingerbread Day. Tis the season to celebrate National Gingerbread Day. While you may, well, this may sound weird for June the 5th, gingerbread lovers across the country celebrate by sampling their favorite recipes and gingerbread treats, whether in the form of bread, cakes, bars, biscuits, or cookies. Gingerbread is delicious any time of the year. Now, 
in December, it's Gingerbread House Day. You celebrate gingerbread houses around Christmas time because of these ceremonies. But June the 5th is the day that people who love gingerbread say, you know, screw it. You don't have to be cold. Gingerbread is good today and any day. Also, ketchup day. So your alternate day can be ketchup day because ketchup's good any day as well. But if you want to celebrate ketchup as opposed to gingerbread, so be it. But because if, if it feels weird to be eating gingerbread in the beginning of summer, you know, don't knock it. Give it a shot. Find some gingerbread. I'm sure you can actually find some, some discounted kind of gingerbread houses from Christmas out there someplace because they're probably in some discount stores there. But gingerbread day is what we're actually celebrating on this day.